here in Los Angeles and I woke up this morning and I went on a long walk around the downtown. I walked for about eh, two and a half miles, so not too long, but it was really enjoyable just being out without it being super humid. And then I came back and had breakfast at the hotel again. I really like the buffet. They have tofu and edamame, which is kind of nice. I could put it in my oatmeal, kind of spruce it up. The oatmeal is made with water, so it's vegan. But yeah, the buffet here, they have like a miso soup station and you can make your own little miso soup. They've got seaweed salad and tofu and miso broth. And they also have white rice if you wanted to do that. So it's really a, um, a, nice, uh, a nice buffet. Uh, and they have like fresh fruit and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, and I came back and they cleaned my room and I had asked if they could bring me some silverware in case I order Postmates again for dinner tonight. Um, and they brought me this cute little tray. Isn't that cute? With like a little cup, a coffee cup and a wine glass, for, which will be handy because uh, yeah, you know me and my water. I need something to drink water out of. But uh, anyways, I'll show you my outfit. I think I'm gonna go out and do some exploring. Uh, I came back and changed, but my hair, I shampooed my hair with um, this Aveda shampoo that I got a little sample of at the beauty con yesterday. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it was a sap moss. Sorry, we're in the shower, so super echoey. Sap moss shampoo. It kind of looks like mud when you when you put it on your hair, but it smells really nice. And uh, like it says, it's kind of weightless hydration. When I, it doesn't lather that much, but um, I really like this. I enjoy Aveda shampoos. I don't recommend any of their skincare because it's all laden with essential oils, as is their shampoo and conditioner, but you guys know I, I use fragrance in my, let's get out of the shower. This is probably annoying to you guys. <laughs> I use, I use fragrance in my shampoos and conditioners, live on the edge. If you have true fragrance allergy though, just don't even go into a beta. But let me show you guys my outfit of the day. I am wearing a little uh, time and true dress from Walmart. And yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go out just like this though. And then I've got my vegan little ballet flats on. These are super comfortable and they don't make your feet stink. I'm always nervous to buy fake leather that it's gonna make my feet stink. Um, and then I got my Ana Luisa little star necklace on and my Ana Luisa gold hoops and my little um, gold loop bracelet from Ana Luisa. And for skincare, I had a sample of uh, Obagi Matte Mineral Sunscreen. It goes on really nicely. I put it on this morning, that's what you guys saw me wearing. Uh, putting on this morning and I covered it with a mineral, the Color Science Mineral Face Shield. But I just reapplied the Muji sunscreen. I'll list these down below for you guys. The Muji Mineral Sunscreen. And honestly, I think it looks just as good as the, as the Obagi one. That Obagi one was a, like a, a sample, a gift sample. So I'm sure it's expensive. It kind of had a scent. I suspect there might be fragrance in it. I was under the impression it was fragrance free, but it had a little bit of a citrus scent to it. And Obagi products often have a lot of fragrance. So anyways, yeah, I have my um, Coolie Bar hat that I'm gonna take with me on about But I brought this, except it's stuck here. I bought my, I brought my little, uh, Solar Eclipse poncho thing to sling on over my, my shoulders while I'm out and about. I'm wearing body sunscreen as well. I'm wearing, I brought um, Think Sport. Um, so I'm wearing that on my body. Um, but I never trust my application of body sunscreens and I never rely on that. If I, you know, I always have something to physically cover up my body. It's just hard to, you know, always cover your face. I've got my coolie bar hat though. So that's my sun protection. Oh, and of course my sunglasses.
best or alternative. This candle smells really good. Fig and Vanilla by Sydney Hale Company. They also have a room spray version of it for spritzing in closets and freshening up the underarm area of t-shirts. Look, it's the uh, evil eye. Allie Sedalis would like that. What do you guys think? Juicery. And when I lived in New York, we had these, but they never had the freeze, which is their non-dairy soft serve. That's just like almond milk or fruit. And I think it's sweetened with dates. I've always wanted to try it. It looks good. So I'm gonna get it. So I got, it's actually pineapple and vanilla, but they're brown, I think, because they're sweetened with dates. And then I topped it with blueberry, vegan chocolate chips, and strawberries. Coming to the uh, bougie grocery store. I think everything in here is like $900. <laughs> Speaking with hyperbole, of course. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these bougie soups look pretty good. Like this Tuscan kale and bean soup, $15. I actually don't think that that's that bad. I mean, I was expecting it to be more. Vegan butternut squash. These actually look really good. Oh, this looks like what I make at home all the time. Hey, look, and they have a broccoli pizza crust. Oh man, it's a good thing I don't live here. I'd probably be tempted to shop in here all the time, you know. Even though I was mocking how overpriced it's gonna be. Ooh, cauliflower pizza taco shell. Oh, one night I went down the rabbit hole in the Amazonian and had like a bunch of these in my cart, but I couldn't commit to a brand of uh, Pili Pili Nut or Barucas, or, like some kind of super nut. What are my combo beans? It almost looks like a 
the lotus pods. Have you ever, guys ever had lotus pods? It's like an Indian, eat them in India. They're really good. McNuts. Is that like a McRib? Only, only vegan? <laughs> All right, I bought this so I could use the bathroom and charge my phone. It is a skinny blue. It's half blue butterfly and half blood orange. I think it is called skinny because it doesn't have the sugar content that their regular lemonades do, but it's pretty. <laughs> So I spotted this on the drive-in and I just took the most pleasurable walk back from uh, from Erewhon to this, this Mitsuwa. I don't, I'm not saying that right, I'm sorry. But I think we actually have one of these in Houston, but I've always wanted to go in. Commercials for this aloe yogurt. I wonder if it has a lot of sugar. Aloe vera, kiwi. Is it non-dairy? No. I'm really living on the edge and going to the pool. The sun's about to go down. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I couldn't film out there, obviously. You know, it's a family's, but it was so nice. You have an infinity pool and you just lay on your back, and look up and see all the buildings over you. Uh, it's nice. Water felt really good. <laughs> Well, hey guys, I'm back. I had such a nice swim in the pool. What a wonderful day I've had today. I just got out of the shower. I'm in my PJs. I'm gonna watch some Netflix and then probably pass out. The Japanese grocery store, I stayed in there for like an hour and a half, you guys. I couldn't film. They're a lot stricter here, I think, about filming in stores. I think they're just more aware of the YouTube thing. Houston, they don't seem to care, but I sense that they're not all about the YouTubing and stores and stuff and I totally respect that so I wasn't able to to do as much vlogging but hopefully I was able to show you a lot of stuff but the Japanese grocery store oh my gosh they had a stationary store within that store that I spent a long time in they had this little uh, studio Ghibli section and they were playing Kiki's delivery service oh I could have stayed in there for for days <laughs> and so that was a lot of fun and I just I had the best time today with you guys I hope you all enjoyed it um, there'll be more footage of the rest of the day but I just want to end this day of the vlog because <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Netflix and chill and probably pass out so I hope you all enjoyed this part hey guys it's the next day I woke up really early this morning and went to the gym and then I came back and took another shower I got really sweaty in the gym and I had a good workout and uh, yeah, took a shower and then I went and had breakfast at the buffet again. I'm telling you, I'm really loving that breakfast buffet downstairs with the tofu and the fresh fruit. And I saw that, um, I saw they had a bunch of mangoes and they had a guy behind the, the buffet station who you could go up to the buffet station and ask him to chop up a mango for you. And he would cut it in half and, you know, do like, you know, when they turn it inside out and they, they're all the little cubes of mango. I thought, oh wow, that's awesome. So if you're vegan, it's kind of a good deal to eat breakfast there because you can get tofu and um, oatmeal and edamame and fruit and, you know, as much as you want. So you can really fill up. It's 35 bucks, which, you know, it's expensive, but honestly, if I went out and ate out to eat, I would spend that much easily. Um, and not get that much food and you know not be able to pick what I wanted kind of thing but anyways so I did that and then I came back um, and I they came and took care of my room for me and I got some work done uh, uploaded a video for you guys I don't know what it is about Los Angeles if it has something to do with being so close to YouTube like YouTube headquarters maybe it's in my head but when I I mean this is just a little technical thing that you're probably like, who cares but I, I find it fascinating after in, in terms of getting a video into into YouTube so you guys can watch it uh, first I have to obviously edit it and then it gets 
rendered down into a file that is then uploaded into YouTube. The rendering down into the file takes a long, it takes quite a bit of time, depending on how long the video is and how much stuff I've put into it, like as far as audio clips and whatnot. Anyways, once that happens, then you, you upload it into YouTube. And as it's uploading into YouTube, you add things like the description box, all the tags so that you guys can find it, you put it in playlists, all the bells and whistles and stuff, and the thumbnail. And that typically, back home, takes, it takes about, I don't know, usually 20 minutes for the whole upload process into YouTube to go through while the file is, is it uploading, but here it's like lightning quick. I mean, no sooner do I type in the title, I'm like, whoa, we're already down to the processing, 98%, like, whoa, <laughs> I'm not going fast enough. I mean, it, there's no race, because, you know, my videos are scheduled, or I put them on private until it's time to, to publicize it, but yeah, I don't know if it has something to do with being near YouTube or what, but anyways, so I got some work done, and I've got my planner there. All right, so maybe I shouldn't do this outfit of the day in front of this door because I kind of blend into it, but I'm wearing the little uh, rust colored shirt dress that I got at Target by a new day. I took the liberty of ironing my clothing when I first got here and unpacked and I totally recommend doing that. It just makes this, I don't know, lay a little bit better, lie a little bit better. Lay, lie, I'm not sure the right word at this moment. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I have that. I totally recommend this. I saw they had different colors at Target. It's got this nice pocket here, but it's not one of those pockets that bunches out. You know, sometimes there can be a bunchy pocket. It's not one of those, so love that. I've got my Anna Luisa star necklace, my gold hoops, and I've double stacked my bracelets today with the green and gold double chain and then my circle gold chain. And again, these ballet flats, you guys, I am, as the young kids say, I'm shook. They are so comfortable. I never would have imagined when I got these that they were gonna be so comfortable. Again, they're vegan leather and they don't make your feet stink. They are so comfortable. I walked 10 miles yesterday and these, my feet do not, are not uncomfortable at all. I, like I'm not in pain or anything. No bunions, no, no blisters, nothing. And it's not as though I, I took the time to break these in either. This is kind of my first time really wearing them this much and walking around in them. gratitude it's a like trendy vegan restaurant and they have all these silly little names for all of their entrees that you say when you order like I am mucho <laughs> oh this looks delicious it is whole which is a macrobiotic bowl I got brown rice sea vegetables some kind of microgreens adzuki beans which I love um, I believe this is kimchi. It said kimchi on the menu, but it kind of looks more like uh, sauerkraut to me. Tamari almonds, and it comes with kale. I asked them to steam it, and they did that for me. 
So, and then there's some kind of um, avocado sauce. Looks really good. They used to have a truck in Brooklyn. I guess they have a little shop here. Sweet. So the uh, cashier guy in there was rather surly. I decided I didn't want to stare at him for the amount of time it took me to ingest my ice cream, so I skipped it. But there's a bookstore here, so I'm gonna go in. So, Hennessy and Ingo. And I just went for a nice long swim in the pool. It is so zen down there amidst all the buildings. I totally just zone out in the water. It's really relaxing. So yeah, I had the best time in little Tokyo. I wish I could have filmed in some of those stores. They don't seem to allow, they seem like really strict about filming here and I don't want to upset anybody and you know, I want to be respectful. So I didn't even really try. Um, so, cause they even had signs in the windows like no photography. So I didn't even really want to, you know, try. Um, you know, I, I understand why they have those rules to protect people's privacy and I don't want to be disrespectful. But anyways, you guys totally missed out, unfortunately, because they have so much cute Japanese stuff. I went berserk over the Sanrio store. My mom, if she's watching this, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you are the same person you were when you were seven. I could take you anywhere. And if there was a Hello Kitty store, we had to go in and yep. <laughs> I haven't changed a bit. Oh my goodness. They have new little characters and there's this one character that's new that looks exactly like Tybee. His name is Cinema, Cinema Roro. Oh my goodness. Because he has these long white floppy ears just like Tybee. Oh, so much cute stuff in all of these little stores and everything. And there was, there were, I know some of you guys are anime fans. I really don't know much about anime, but there was a ton of that. And there's some kind of little toy dolls uh, I think are totally adorable. I can't remember what they're called. Um, Neo, Neogen or something. They have the, they're like little cartoony action figures and they have these little face plates. You can change out their face and like their arms and legs come off and you can reposition them and put different outfits on them or something they were really cute they had like some uh more like disney princess ones which you know were kind of cute but then they had these just unique little girl statue ones that were really adorable i like you know cute unique toys so i was tempted to buy one of them they were really cute uh yeah so much cool stuff and i got a ton of like little cute stuff i think what i'm going to do when i get back is actually film a sit down haul video for you guys of all the stuff that i got at beautycon and then the stuff that i bought here um just some little like souvenirs and whatnot i thought that would be fun so i'll probably do that when i get back um but yeah i just got out of the pool and uh, i had a nice swim down there a month amidst the buildings and just zend out so i'm gonna take a shower but i hope you all enjoyed these vlogs and uh, this vlog um i'm gonna conclude it here if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow